starting off our day today at a really lovely cafe here which has three floors and offers a great viewpoint of what is actually a pretty calm and quiet street corner here in Ho Chi Minh City. I think because it's Saturday there's no uh, work rush so things are relatively calm outside although it's a great viewpoint because we're behind glass in some cold AC as we admire the chaos that we will eventually journey into and lucky me today my breakfast came with this sauce or spice which is I guess it's just salt and chili it's pretty common here in Vietnam but it's so flavorful and delicious maybe it's actually MSG and chili because it's like super charged salt I tend to put it on everything it's a good start to the day, small and very powerful, not too dissimilar from Vietnamese coffee. Mm -hmm. And so introducing this contraption, as you can see, it's still dripping, slowly but surely, and it's got some condensed milk in the bottom. I think the best way to describe it is the way our tour guide from the Coochie Tunnels described it. He said, if it's good Vietnamese coffee, <laughs> within five minutes of drinking it, you go right to the bathroom. True. So, stay tuned to the vlog to find out. No, I'm kidding. But uh, the way I describe it is when you take one sip, it's sort of like drinking a Snickers bar. Mm. It's like candy. It really assaults your mouth. I think that's why they give you a glass of water with it to try and rinse afterwards. <laughs> it's not bad, but there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not too dissimilar from the Vietnamese people. It's small, it's compact, and it's powerful and capable. True. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a good morning for us here with the viewpoint as we start to uh, journey into Ho Chi Minh City. Oh. So come along with us as Ivana enjoys... Uh, beef noodles. It's not pho though. It's called Ha Tui, another type of beef noodles. So many types of noodles here in True. Vietnam. So I'm having one of these. Looks good actually. Mm. That orange color of the noodle looks very flavorful. Okay, let's uh, let's eat up and then we will journey around uh, the city formerly known as Saigon. Let's go. I tell you what, the more Ivana and I talk about it, we think it's probably right to buy one of those Vietnamese coffee makers that sits on top of your cup. Because for one, we don't have to put condensed milk in the recipe, so we can use it as a normal coffee maker. And it could be quite useful for us because we can't expect every Airbnb we're at to have a coffee maker. So it sort of is practical for us and it is distinctly Vietnamese. So it's sort of a useful souvenir for us. And so maybe later in the video we'll go to a market and we'll try and buy one of those uh, Vietnamese coffee makers and practice our bargaining skills, which are typically pretty terrible. So we are expected to overpay. But uh, let's keep the journey going first. We found a group of people, two kids and probably their father. Good! <laughs> to play this kick badminton thing. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, looks like Pringles. <laughs> Potentially homemade, no? Like poker chips or Pringles and some feathers. Yeah. Nice. Good. Come on, Steve. <laughs> this guy is so nice. He's like, you want to join? You want to join? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Good game, everybody. Good game. <laughs> All right. So one thing we love about Vietnam is these huge parks that are everywhere and they're always being used by local people. They're very active and very healthy people. And I guess there's lots of tourism in Vietnam. It makes sense, the country is so great. Maybe one of the best in the world to travel. And yet somehow, locals are still very enthusiastic to meet and interact with a foreigner. They're not sick of it and they're not used to it and they're not bored of tourists. They're really enthusiastic and uh, quite engaging and kind people. So I just finished up my game of what I would call kick volleyball or maybe kick badminton more accurately. And uh, one of the kids went and got some badminton rackets with a little shuttlecock there. And now Yvonne is playing uh, badminton. I will say this, you guys know me, I'm incredibly competitive. So I really tried my hardest to win that match. We did not win. It's tough to coordinate with your feet and try to kick the thing perfectly, but uh, a good fun and a good memory nonetheless. So let's see how Yvonne does. <laughs>
Oh yeah, Ivana. Yo, Ivana, you're good. Oh, this is a rally for the ages. Oh my gosh, this pickleballer of badminton. Nice job. Wow. <laughs> great rally. That was awesome. <laughs> and I really love the father in the back. He's got a great laugh and a big smile on his face. His his uh his laugh is contagious. He's a really jolly and friendly guy. Good, good experience here in uh, Vietnam. Now this little guy's got it figured out. You want to be twice as good as badminton? Get twice as many rackets. Look at this, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Holy jumping. He's a phenom. <laughs> He's alternating hands. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> That's smart. Thank you so much, buddy. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I'll tell you what, Ivan is good, but the kid has got some real skills. He's well practiced, man. He doesn't miss. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good game. Good game. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good game. <laughs> Very good. Very good. My name is Ifana. What's your name? My name is Sin. 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 What's your name? Fu. 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 My name is Steve. <laughs> Thank you. Good game. Where are you from? Me, Indonesia. 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Yeah, great. <laughs> All right, so our intention of coming to the park was to show you how big and clean it is because there really is almost no garbage uh, no graffiti, no vandalism, the grass is all trimmed and it really is being used by locals so it's sort of a nice place for us to walk and uh, make some friends although we did not expect to meet two youngsters and their father to be clear we don't know much about them we know their names, we don't know where they're from, we don't know what they do for work hard to communicate but in the end uh, great people and it's a memory you'll so have forever yeah. because uh, the father there's got a big smile on his face he's with his kids he's inviting over us to come play as well as two other tourists yes so there was a guy from the US and a lady from Spain with us and uh, despite the fact that we cannot communicate we can definitely make friends and that was really nice for us here so in friendly. Vietnam friendly people. so uh, total success next stop we will go to the market, let's see if we can buy one of those coffee filter? Coffee filters. Yeah. Which actually the metal in the Vietnamese coffee is the filter. You don't have right, to add a right, filter. Right, right. This is why it's so convenient for us. The actual metal is the coffee uh, yeah. filter. Okay, yeah. let's go. I'm a little tired. I'm yeah, covered in sweat. My hat is sweaty, my shirt is it's sweaty. Hot. Maybe it'll help us bargaining because I'm gonna smell so bad the shopkeeper just says, just take it and go, man. Yeah, it was fun to exercise this morning, but it happened and it was fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, check it out, Ivana. What? Check it out. Yeah. They're doing something. I think they're doing a photo shoot. There's a phone on the ground over there. Maybe they're doing a TikTok dance or something. But yet another group of friends out here enjoying the park. Vietnamese people tend to gather in groups and enjoy the park in some sort of group activity. They're gonna go dance. Yo, this could be a good show here. Oh my gosh, we're never gonna make it out of this park. There's too much action in the park, we can never leave. Something is happening here. Yo, this is something special. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so not exactly sure what that was, but it was fun to watch nonetheless. A bunch of youngsters having fun. And now let's keep it moving. Ivana, you need a haircut? Need a haircut? Maybe you do, Steve. <laughs> I tell you what, for me at least, Vietnam is one of the best places to go for a city walk. Because it's still crazy and action packed, and you'll see a guy doing haircutting, or maybe people driving on the sidewalk. So there's still action all around, but it's still manageable for us, and quite clean, and quite safe, and quite comfortable. So it's sort of chaos. Run, 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 run. It's sort of chaos, but not. Uh, not too much for us and so for me one of the best places to go for a city walk <laughs> the local culture is on full display and yet still okay to walk around with the gopro and talk to the camera and feel safe so uh awesome oh my gosh check this out this is acupuncture right here in the street or at the very least it's cupping <laughs> 
there you have it guys I'm not sure all the health benefits but there it is No, I'm okay. <laughs> cupping. It's cupping, right, Ivana? Yeah. Wow. The thing is to take out all the bad stuff in your body. <laughs> Detox the yes. skin in the back. <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. Go to the Alright, so we've come to a really massive market here, which is really quite crowded with lots of narrow hallways, but there are fans everywhere. So despite the fact there's no AC, it is pretty fresh in here and it's not too stuffy. Although I do smell durian, which looks like it might even be Musan King, it's so Can yellow. It Where's the durian from? Vietnam durian. Oh, Vietnam durian. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Vietnam got durian. Vietnam got durian and the meat looks nice and yellow, almost ah. like a Musan King. It looks quite yeah. uh, tasty. And so the reason we're here is to hunt for a coffee filter. We're going to have to negotiate, like I said. So let's see if we can uh, make it happen. I'm looking for the filter. Yes. Can I see? Yes. Oh, this one is good, Ivana. Because the other ones are metal. This one is more like uh, this one is ceramic. ceramic. Yeah. Under the, uh, the, the design. And under the design. If you like, I take the new design. And this is actually the cup. This is a coffee cup also. Yes. But but I don't need the cup. I have a three cup also. You put the coffee powder inside, and then you put the cup, the boiling water here, coffee, the rip, the rip in the cup. I can put ah, drip. ground coffee inside. Yes. It will go through? No. The no, coffee goes out. through? No. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. So, and this one also. Can I see again, anyone? It says Saigon on it too, which is kind of nice. Oh, careful. This one different. This different. one is not ceramic. Yes, not ceramic. It is ceramic. Ah, this yes. one is what? This one uh, aluminum. Aluminum. And this one uh, for the electric. This one very nice. Yeah, it could be even nicer. That one is lighter. This one is a bit higher. Than oh, for travel sake, yeah. the aluminum is better. Yeah. Oh. Aluminum during coffee, nice. Because oh. you know, hmm? this one, uh -huh. small. Oh, small. Yeah. Smaller holes. Yes. Well, when coffee powder, very fine. Coffee powder, not big, not broken. Ah. Oh, so the ceramic one, you and maybe need Vietnamese one, coffee. The coffee powder, so big. Uh -huh, uh, you uh -huh, need uh -huh. the big one. The yeah, big one. Understand. Understand. Yes. Ah. Okay. How much this one? Uh, you no sorry, no no cup. Your house have a mm. cup already, you don't need to buy this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I got a cup yeah. already. Yes, I have a black and a brown. How much? Uh, this one, Vietnam dollar, 180 dollars. 180? Yes. Ah. When you wash in this one, no color, no problem. Can okay. you go cheaper? Yeah, how many cups? Uh, are this cup for you happy? Hmm? You buy one, one cup or two cup? One cup. Mm -hmm. one, one filter, no cup. Uh, yeah. No cup. Uh, yeah, and no, no cup. One, only cup, 250 No cup. No, no, no cup. I want no 80 for you, 160. No cup. 160. 160 for just a filter. Okay, we keep looking around and maybe come back, okay? Uh, okay, if you come back, I, I want 50 for you, okay? Uh, you buy coffee, you? coffee powder? You want coffee powder? Maybe, I need some if coffee. If you buy coffee powder, this one is free for you. Free? free. Yes. Uh, if you buy about 300 gram coffee, this one I give for you this one. Ah, okay. That's a good deal. Which one? What would you choose? What kind do you want to choose? That's no problem. <laughs> 300 grams of coffee. Okay, how much for 300 grams of coffee? Yeah, you choose this one. Like this oh, one. the prices are there. Yeah. Uh, you buy 200 grams. Uh huh. Give this one. And this 200 one. 200 grams. Yes, okay. Yeah, has a nut. You buy 300 grams. Give one. Tell you what, I'm inclined to buy the coffee because the price is written. The price is on the sign labeled. Ivana. Buy some coffee Whoa. and get the free filter. Maybe it's Which a good one deal. Is good? This one is good. Yeah, organic coffee. Organic. This one is Vietnam. Oh, but organic. you need to grind? I have a machine. Ah, yes. okay, okay. It has milk. So you buy 200 gram of this, it's free. So it's 170. Uh, maybe not coconut. No, no. Yeah, organic coffee. This one smells good. 
I can smell it from here. It's strong. It's not so strong. One seventy per one hundred gram. You buy two hundred gram. This one I free for you. Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> Oh, just in time for Black Friday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Helen coffee also. Uh, can I smell? Yes. So in true Jet Lag Warriors fashion, it seems like we're going to buy from the first person we talked to. But she's a sweet lady and the prices are labeled on the coffee, which makes me feel really good. Ivana wants to buy some uh, snake whiskey, scorpion whiskey. Which, to be honest, I've tried before and it just tastes like normal whiskey. So we'll pass on that. Uh, 100 and 100. Can. And the free filter? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Chu. 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 Yes. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Chu. Ah, Chu. I for you. I have check back. Huh? I bought for you. Yes, 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 please. Sold. So we buy 100 gram of the Thailand. It's 120. And 100 of the Vietnam. 170. Uh, thank you. Okay, so 290, and then we got a little chair here for the front row seats of the grinding process. We got a grinder. Good. Okay. This one, a uh, Highland coffee. What um, cup do you want? Black or this one? Maybe this one. You know? Yeah. Maybe gold. Yeah. yeah. I have a box. I put the box. Okay, for you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So 170 plus 120. 290. 290. Uh, plus like a free flute like 15 bucks american or so and we even got a free piece of mango come on yes this is nice so no All regrets right. no regrets <laughs> i'm sure the comments are going to say we paid twice as much as we're supposed to but eh, no regrets <laughs> i know right yeah. ah big card your card okay but then you love love for the same okay okay uh, Pop, I was making pop, a joke. Pop, <laughs> pop a cent in the bag, not for me. Not for you. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> yeah, I came for you, huh? Thank you. I was making a joke when I said card. I figured it was no card. They have card. But four percent loss. Yeah, no, but four percent. in the bank. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, too. Thank you for your hand. Thank you. What's Thank your you. name? My name's Steve. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ivana. Ivana. Yeah. Ivan. Ivana. Ivana. Yeah. Ivana. Come on. Come on, Chu. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good looking. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> wow. All right. We got what we're looking for, Steve. <laughs> come on. Come yeah. on, Chu. By the way, this is a great marker just to look around. Even though you're not buying, you must come here. It's great. Even though the sellers can be a little bit aggressive sometimes, but you're still gonna survive this market. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty tourist friendly. And actually, there's a lot of locals shopping here too. It's yeah, not just true. a tourist trap. It's a local market yeah. with some tourist pricing if you can't negotiate. <laughs> I think we did okay though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to shop for souvenirs as well. And they have a big food market. Are you hungry yet, Steve? Not really, but no. Let's just take a look at it. It will be interesting. Let's see what they have. Let's go. Let's go. What is one? I think it's pancake. Oh, mm -hmm. oh really? Yeah. It's oh, my God. Look at this. People Chocolate order it. <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is like a spring one, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Meat. It's meat? Yeah, meat. Meat. Okay, mushroom. Okay, mushroom. Ah. Pork and mushroom. Pork and mushroom. Okay. Like a spring roll. It's very nice. She and says. they cut, she it, cut like it, it like that. And then maybe fry it up here. Uh. What is it called? Banchu. Banchu. Oh wow! Look at this. Wow! Very nice. Banchu. Ah, oh, it's the ravioli, steamed rolled rice pancake. Right here. Wanna try? You go ahead. Try. You go ahead, you go ahead. And we are getting our favorite here. Passion fruit juice. Yes. Really nice here in Vima, especially after the morning where I had yeah. the uh, Vietnamese coffee. Yeah. My milk feels like it needs a glass of water. Yes. Some toothpaste or something. <laughs> so some fruit juice will be nice. Right. Nice. So the lady here is doing something with a huge bucket of white stuff. She puts it in a very thin circle and kind of cooks it into like a prep. I'm assuming the white stuff is rice flour or rice something. Right, right. It right. looks like she's making rice paper, I guess. Oh, 
this it? And then Wait, she fills it up with pork and stuff. mushroom. One thing about Vietnamese food, they got a million different ways to eat rice. Rice paper, <laughs> rice noodle. Rice itself. Rice itself, dinosaur egg, you name it. They got rice <laughs> in many different varieties. True. So I'm excited for this. Let's try. Oh, here we go. Oh. Of course, I think that's a fish sauce. This is fish like. sauce, which typically sounds bad. I don't like fish. <laughs> right. Kind of like fish. Fish sauce in Vietnam, it's amazing. Very good. It's yummy, right? Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, pause. Passion fruit juice. So good. So sour, it'll make you wince. It's almost like grapefruit. It's so good. With no sugar and just ice, it's very refreshing. Five star passion fruit juice. Mm. Very good. Let's try it. It looks, to be honest, it looks a little bit scary. A lot of Vietnamese food looks scary, but I think it will be super delicious. <laughs> True. Let's try it. <laughs> it sometimes looks scary. I wasn't too hungry, then when I saw it, I said, hey, Bonnie, go ahead. Try it. Two. I mean, I'm still full from my noodles this morning, but I did exercise. I played badminton, so I think I deserve this. Let's try it. <laughs> you earned it, Bonnie. It's good. Mm. Mm. It's, like, it's like spring noodles, but it's uh, rice noodles. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> this is not rice paper, this is rice noodle. Oh, actually, I don't know. I think it's noodles. I think it's, it's like rice noodles. So you cook it like a crepe. It's like one big noodle. Rice paper is more thin and more crispy. Rice paper. Rice, rice paper. paper. Yes. Oh, oh okay, see okay. The way she cook it. Ah, wow, paper. and this is very nice. And one thing you'll notice throughout the course of this video, Vietnamese people are so friendly, man. Uh -huh. Very talkative, very positive. They sound, even the language just sounds upbeat mm -hmm. and friendly. Big smile on their face. Very wonderful. Uh, I'm sure it's good because that fish sauce is amazing. Which, what is fish sauce? Is it made from fish? Mm-hmm. It is? Yeah. Oh. Why would they call it fish sauce? <laughs> Maybe it goes with fish. <laughs> mm. It's good. Oh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. mm. See? You're not hungry. Now you're hungry. Well, the thing about Vietnamese food is, it's so light. You could eat a big meal in Vietnam, and one hour later, you're hungry again. Right. It's not really oily. It's not really heavy. It's usually fresh and refreshing Super almost. Snacks. Yeah. Mm. That's good. That's very good. Yeah. Fresh stars. <laughs> uh, just giving us. Uh, oh, shrimp inside. A different filling. You won't believe it. She just said, excuse me, I'll give you for free to try two more. Ah. Amazing. Very nice. That's the thing about Vietnamese people. Very friendly, but above and beyond. <laughs> true, you know true. what I mean? True. Uh, mm. Amazing. She said, come try this one. For free. So she gave us the one with the shrimp filling. Because we bought the pork and mushroom. That's right. And you know what I find about Vietnamese food? It uses a lot of herbs True. in their cooking, in their food, True. in their dish. So it tastes very fresh, which I love. So this one I think is. I pair it with basil. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Steve. So good. Really? Even better than the pork one. Cannot. Mm. So good. Five stars. Really? Try it. Try this with the basil. By the way, wooden chopsticks for the win. If you got a restaurant and you got yourself some plastic chopsticks, you'll get the wood one so much better. This is rice paper, shrimp, and basil. Yeah. Better than pork. Right? Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Five stars. <laughs> so good. Uh, come to the market and try it, guys. You won't regret it. Wow. I tell you what, I am very impressed with that lady. We just sat at her stall for 20 or 25 minutes as we ate. 
and she did not stop working the entire time. It was like a flow state or some type of meditation where she was constantly frying something or cutting something or making change or making drinks or serving customers. It was quite impressive to watch her. So with that being said, let's continue our journey. So we've come to the city hall here, which is a beautiful building of the French colonial era, very grand and ornate. And there happens to be a bunch of school kids here who I guess are coming on a school trip to see the statue of Ho Chi Minh, where Ivana noticed the statue is wearing sandals, which is sort of unexpected and I guess shows you he is a man of the people. So in front of me here, there's a huge pedestrian walkway. You can hear a band somewhere off to my left, a bit of a concert. And you'll notice a bunch of tall buildings. In Ivana and my experience in Vietnam, we figure that Ho Chi Minh is the most developed or the most modern city that we've been to at the very least. You'll notice there's a bunch of stores that are still called Saigon, which is the previous name of Ho Chi Minh City back when the Americans used this city as sort of their stronghold in what I call the Vietnam War, although what Vietnamese people call the American War. And so the war ended when Saigon fell and Ho Chi Minh's army sort of captured it and later on it was renamed to Ho Chi Minh City. So I think our next step is to maybe journey past this beautiful fountain here and go down the pedestrian walkway. I think it goes all the way to the waterfront. So we can go and explore what seems to be the main strip or the main square here in Ho Chi Minh City. Let's go. So I guess today we have seen the many sides of Vietnam or the many sides of Ho Chi Minh City at the very least because the walkway in front of the statue is really wide and really clean actually. All the pathways are clean and some really modern and beautiful buildings along there. And now here we are back in... Uh... <laughs> you want to look at the wires? Yes. <laughs> To me, it's an amazing thing to see wires like that. Maybe for a Vietnamese person, it's not special. But when I think of Vietnam, I tend to think of things like this because it's uh, so familiar to us. So from the market to the parks to the statue area, which was really pristine back into the local area with the wires, we've seen a little bit of everything today. And so it's time to go for a cold beer. I think for that, we'll go back to our neighborhood near District 1, where we can do a pretty nice bar street and enjoy some beer that probably has ice in the cup which is very Vietnamese style so let's go no thank you no thank you sorry walking walking home thank you thank you bye bye <laughs> that guy just saw me film in the street here because the street's so beautiful and I guess he was offering a right. tour, a tour of something. Yeah, one hour ride for two on his motorbike. <laughs> so there will be three of us on his motorbike around Saigon. <laughs> Should we go? Let's call him back. Hey, come back. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun tour, but not for us. <laughs> Here's a pretty busy one. Imagine trying to make a left turn out there, especially if you're driving a big vehicle. <laughs> All right, so Ivana and I are both heating up because of the traffic, the noise, and the heat. But we have found the spot where it looks like the right location to have a cold beer. I almost just want to let the camera run and just walk down this whole place showing you the whole strip. It's something beautiful on every street corner. It's all shade in here, which is nice, and there's no engine noise. So we found a little bit of interesting paradise here, at least in terms of the temperature, for us to have a cold beer. Let's find some more, Ivana. All right, 
So let's uh Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay, no problem. Thank you. So let's end the video. Cheers. With rapid fire, okay? Five things I noticed about Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you. Cold beer so nice. Oh. Good, right? Oh. <laughs> First, a lot of Christmas decorations out there. Oh, yeah. My understanding was this country is mostly Buddhist. I don't know if the displays are just for tourists, but I think there's not a lot of people celebrating Christmas here, and yet a lot of bars, a lot of cafes, a lot of shops have Christmas trees and Christmas music. Right. Including our breakfast place this morning was playing Christmas music. Right. Which is something interesting. <laughs> Two, Vietnamese people are not sick of tourists at all. To be clear, there's a lot of tourists walking around. They might stop right in the middle of a sidewalk and begin taking a photo. A Vietnamese person will say, sorry, and duck underneath the camera. Yes. We've been to a lot of places where when a tourist stops to take a photo, a person walks by, a local person is kind of like, get out of the way. Oh, yeah. Vietnamese people are very kind and very not fed up with tourists. Three, a lot of Korean tourists here. Oh, yeah. Just something right. I noticed. Uh, and four, Vietnamese language, you will not find a seven letter word. <laughs> I keep searching for long words. Every word in Vietnam is two, three, or four, or maybe five letters at the most. For example, at home we have a television in our Airbnb, and it has YouTube, but it's Vietnamese YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go to the search bar and go to the letter A to search for something that starts with A, I believe there are 15 variations of the letter A. Because you can put one, two, that and I think funny. even three accents on one letter. So I don't know how Vietnamese language got A, B, C, D. It seems like a language that be, would be written in Chinese characters. Because it's so intricate and so precise, you will not find a seven letter word. And there you have it, guys. So for me, one of the best countries in the world for tourism I is so Vietnam. Too. I love it offers it. so much, it's so safe, the people are so friendly, and it's so culturally rich. Good food. Good as food. Well. Yes, and there are many different sides of Vietnam. The good, the bad, and the refreshing. The hot and the refreshing. You know it's hot when you do a water and a beer. <laughs> and I'll end this video with a story from Canada. When I was playing hockey at like 22, 23 years old, I accidentally dropped my wallet in the parking lot after the game. So I drove home with no wallet. There was 25 bucks in my wallet, as well as all my Visa cards and credit cards. So I go back to the hockey arena the next day. I tell the people working there, I left my wallet in the parking lot, I think. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's the change room. I don't know. They said, oh, we have an overnight guy, Vietnamese guy. He works at 9 to 5 during the day, and he works overnight cleaning the hockey arena. He found it, he returned it, and the money was still in it. Oh, wow. I ended, up I ended up meeting the guy to thank him. He works nine to five, he works overnight, and he takes all his money, sends it back to Vietnam for his family. Wow. If there was ever a guy who should have taken the money from my wallet, it was this guy. He <laughs> returned it with the money still in it. I was, from 10 years ago, I was impressed with the Vietnamese people. Yes, and so there yes. you have it, guys. Uh, a country that I hope goes up in the world, and the tourism goes up more and more and more because Vietnam is so nice. Good first time in Ho Chi Minh City. Great first time in Ho Chi Minh City. Saigon. We loved Hanoi, we loved Hoi An, we loved Ha Long Bay, we loved North Vietnam. Yeah, the Ninh Bình, Hajong Hai loop Yang. was amazing. And so first time in Ho Chi Minh, first impressions, very good. Yes. There you have it guys, thanks for watching. It's time for a few more Saigon beers and bed early. <laughs> Later. And so I think this is one of the reasons we love Vietnam. Something for everybody. So much action on the street corners. <laughs> the modern and the old. The modern, the old, the traditional, and the new. All happening at once at full speed. <laughs> Just awesome. Okay, here we go. Get ready, babe. Get ready. Let's go. Start walking, start walking. Good job, good job. Halfway there. Now we gotta go this way. Uh -oh. Maybe easier, it looks slower. Okay, watch and go, watch and go, watch and go. Oh yeah. Easy peasy, babe. To be honest, the cars are more scary than the motorbikes for me. Same. <laughs> yeah, because the cars, they don't slow down at all until they're like two feet apart from me. Yes. And they stop. I think it's because if a motorbike hits you, it's still dangerous for the motorbike uh, right, guy. Right, right. If a car hits you, he's in no danger. So he's right. he goes fast.
gas yeah. right near you. It's very scary. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we handled that the like some bike, locals. The motorbike, they don't stop, but at least they slow down when they're close to you. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you can make eye contact with the motorbike yes, guy. Yes, true, true. Sometimes behind the car, you don't know what's going on back there, if he's asleep at the wheel or yeah. what. They keep moving, though. They're fast. Yeah. Fast moving all yeah. the time. Wow. <laughs> totally different than Jakarta, where I'm from. Which is just like... Which is... It's, it's crazy easy, but slow. It's easier to cross the street in Jakarta because the traffic is slower. Yeah. Yeah. And they stop for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Steve. One dollar beer in the nightclub area. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, it's raining. But with some cold beer, there is always food. <laughs> Cheers. What's happening? They suddenly take. Oh, the police is coming. Ah. So, hey, hey, you can't put a table on the street. Right, right. All these are coming. So, we're putting all the tables away. All right, got it, got it, got it. They're putting the table. Putting it back, putting it back. All good, all good. <laughs> good. <laughs> history of police stoppages <laughs> he said shut it down cops are coming and it was like 15 seconds right so the party was very back quick on. <laughs> sandwich is pretty good go for a bit of paper you know hot sandwich in plastic not ideal but good sandwich what time is it two in the morning <laughs> 8 30. that's what i'm saying <laughs> time for bed yo sandwich got noodles in it is it noodles or vegetables? This one over here. Oh, interesting. Right here. You like it? <laughs> Stuck in my teeth. 